Ladies and gents, welcome to the Gaming Apocalypse. I'm Wraith, and this is Telltale's Game of Thrones game. Two quick reminders before we jump in. First, if you're not already, hit that subscribe button, ring the notification bell, that way you know when I'm uploading new videos. Secondly, you are an awesome person, so keep being awesome to others. All right, let's jump in and see where this game is going to take us. Okay, so we're back with Garrod on the King's Road, walking through the Wolf's Wood. Great, so we just lost our horse. Seven elves. It's Ramsey. My ancestors wore the skins of their enemies as a coat. <gasps> Why don't you shout a little bit so they can really notice that you were there, dumbass? Not my best work, unfortunately. I suppose I have full enough practice. But he didn't make it easy. What with all that bloody noise? <laughs> like a drowning cat. I thought he'd never stop. As my father likes to say, a naked man holds few secrets. But the flayed man, the flayed man holds none. Pity he didn't know your father is the Warden of the North. He does now. How much further is it to these foresters? Uh, a day, my lord. Two at most. What was that? The Lord? Shh, listen. There. Hear that? I know I heard something. Just stay still. You take off running, it's gonna go badly. Never mind. We've wasted enough time already. See? Why would you go down there? It's literally a flayed man. Why do you want to go down there closer to it to look? Bloody hell! Like, is that a shock? Is it a surprise to you? And as I was saying, you are young, and there are those within these walls who are uncertain of your leadership. But 300 generations of Forester Lords stand behind you. Lord Gerhard the Tall, who founded our house, and your grandfather, Lord Thorin the Bold, who seized back the river valley from the White Hills. What do they call my father? Lord Gregor the Good. He was fair and wise and courageous in battle. I want to be like that, like my father. Your father was well regarded by nearly everyone. It took years, if not decades, to earn. These were your father's people to lead and protect, and now they're yours. But your father did not bear this responsibility alone. He and every forester lord before him chose one man whom they trusted above all others. 
the Lord Sentinel. Forester traditions demand that a new Lord Sentinel must be chosen. Let me guess, Duncan and Royland. I've done nothing wrong. I was only trying to survive. Lord Ethan. Miss. You spoke of judgment, Sir Royland. What judgment is that? This craven is a deserter and a thief. This house is doomed! We all fucking know it! Quiet, thief. Eric was supposed to be guarding our weapons, but instead we caught him stealing them. Oh. Two shields and three spears. You stole from us. I feared for my life. Yes, my lord. I fled. We should all flee. It's not stealing if you're taking what's yours by right. He speaks He's truth. Right. I have a family to feed. And not two coins to rub together since Lord Gregor left us to rot here. Where's our pay? Our share of bread and wine grows smaller every day. <laughs> Leave the poor man alone. Go. Lord Ethan, I Why know are... these words are hard, but they're honest. This house Why is are they boring. not getting paid? We'll never survive the coming winter. Most of us won't even live to see it. Calm yourself. The time for calm passed with the late Lord Forrester. Now there's only chaos. You'll address him as Lord. I have some Lord serious Ethan, questions here. You must decide the punishment. Why are these Lord people... always took a thief's fingers. Three of them. Now may not be the time for harsh punishment. The men are on edge as it is. Men need to know they cannot do whatever the fuck they please. Their Lord will not permit it. We can send him to the war. I will decide. Send him to the wall. Take his fingers. He's a thief. If you punish me, you'll be punishing an innocent man. It will be an injustice, my lord. You just admitted Please, you stole stuff. My lord, my family depends on me. I, Ethan of House Forester, Lord of Ironrath, name you. A thief. You admitted to it, man. It's three of your fingers. No, please, my lord. Take them from the no dominant hand. Please, no. My lord, normally it is the lord's duty to carry out the sentence. But I am willing to carry it out. I will carry out the sentence. Man who passes the sentence should wield the blade. This is injustice, my lord! Clean strike, too. Take it off, get it cauterized, you'll be fine. That was certainly unpleasant, but a lord must meet out punishment when it's due. Not just yourself, of course. You can weigh on any lord. It's a lord's duty, so I did it. You heard what the thief said. I expect this sort of thing will happen again. But a sentinel can help you in the face of disloyalty. You need someone you can trust by your side. Someone you can rely on. No matter the circumstance, possessing wisdom and experience. Who do you think I should choose? There are two capable men for the role. They both want the job, but neither thinks very highly of the other. How do I decide between them? Talk to them. Solicit the opinion of people close to you. Here. The Bracer of the Sentinel. The Badge of Office. Tonight is your first small council meeting. It would be wise to bestow this bracer upon your chosen sentinel then. 
to show that you are decisive and in control of this house. Your sentinel will wear this for all to see. Take it. Thank you for your counsel, Maester. It is my duty. Come speak with me when you're ready to convene the small council, my lord. I'm curious as to why this guy says that nobody's getting paid. Also, why is nobody getting food? Our provisions are rather low, my lord. Why? I made the count again, just to be sure. Eric said people were going to starve. Why can't we feed them? The war has taken its toll. Even our own stores for the house are dwindling. We couldn't withstand a siege, my lord. If the Boltons or the White Hills cut us off and wait us out, we'd only last a fortnight. But there are steps we can take. In the past, we've demanded food from the small folk to replenish our stores. We can do it again, if you'd like. We've done it before in desperate times. The last long winter, my family had to give all our pigs to the house. No. There must be something else we can do. Well, I hope we find it soon. We won't have much room to maneuver if we don't have the option of holding fast. I can speak to the huntsmen and trappers. Perhaps they can do more. My lord. That would be the way to go. While we're over here. Yes, my lord. I have much to consider and face a difficult decision. Perhaps I can help. Your father often sought my counsel. As Lord, I must name a sentinel. Of course. And if I may ask, who do you favor for the role? Perhaps I can share my insight. And talking can sometimes help you make a decision. Actually, I wanted to ask, why did you send Garrett away? I did it for your own protection, my Lord. Garrett had to go. By sending him away myself, I thought it would keep you blameless in the eyes of the White Hills. I only hope to give you an advantage, and I regret any action you disapprove of. I understand, and you're forgiven. Thank you, my lord. Thank you, Duncan. I appreciate your advice. I'm at your service, my lord. I like that it, it very subtly threw in there, you're forgiven. Like, hey dude, he, that wasn't cool. You shouldn't have been doing that. There's no reason. What does Malcolm have to say to me? Ethan. Or should I say Lord Ethan? Hello, Uncle Malcolm. I saw what you did today. It's not an easy thing to do. Dealing out a harsh punishment, no matter how warranted. Well, Taylor is not happy with me. If you'll excuse me, my lord, I should finish packing before nightfall. I hope to be off tomorrow. At first light. But where are you going? Your mother asked me to cross the narrow sea to find your brother, Asher. Asher? She has asked me to return with him, to help the house. She said nothing of this to me. Because she fears you will not agree. I told her my place is here, that I'll be of no help to you in Essos. But she insisted. I will hold, of course, until you've spoken with her about this. Just try to be kind to her. She's been living a nightmare made real. But you know that just as well. She's my mother. Of course I'll be gentle. I know you will. You're good-hearted, my lord. That is your true strength. <laughs> but my mother's fears are not the only ones I face. My people are scared as well. I'm told I must choose a sentinel. If I may be so bold, Sir Royland is the man for the job. He'd be a fine choice, and I'd trust him. Aye, Sir Royland is the man you want. Why Sir Royland? We are at war. You need a warrior by your side. Royland has the respect of his men and will bring strength and discipline to this house. Duncan would offer sage advice, but now is not the time to negotiate. Not with the likes of Ramsay Snow. 
Thank you, Uncle. Ethan, I need to talk to you. Okay. Kind of rude, but all right, sure. Let's Mother have a conversation. Me, Mira has asked for Lady Marjorie's help. Did she? I knew we could rely on Mira. Well, she I mean, she asked. Family above all else. Doesn't mean Hopefully we're actually going to get it. Influence will be enough. But right now, I'm more concerned about you. I saw what you did to that man. Well, the way I you had much of a choice. Him. How could you be so cruel? I'm worried about you. What am I supposed to think? Do you think it's easy? I'm the third born son. Father never prepared me for this. I'm doing the best I can. I know you are, Ethan. I know. I know you that see is the truth sometimes, but I didn't think I'd see it so soon. I can't afford any more mistakes. Everyone knows what happened with Lord Whitehill. Garrod being sent to the wall without my knowledge. I know. And that wasn't your fault. But I'm the Lord. It's my responsibility. The people want me to lead. They need me to, but... What? Ethan, please. Tell me. I... I wish Father were here. We all do, but Father is gone. You are the Lord of this house, which is why you must be strong. Well, then don't critique me. As Asher or Roderick ever were. I know it. If I have to uphold the justice too. of the house, then don't critique me You've when I do that. Given me good advice. Thank you. It wasn't really good advice, but all right, sure. She's so worried about seeing me angry, but then tells me I need to. Hmm. She's not very useful. I mean, to be fair, it's a defensible place. Let's talk to a little kid before I talk Careful. to Royland. Keep at it and you won't have much left. Something to pick your teeth with. No, Ethan. Look at this. All good sores have a name. I call mine two brothers. I carve this to give me strength. And this, so I remember. I mean, I could never forget, but... Oh, you know, don't you? I'm honored. Huh? Yeah. yeah. Someday, I'll have a real one. But not like that one. Only a lord could have that sword. You'll have a good sword. I'm sure of it. I watched you today. I saw what you did to that man. Was he... Our enemy. A bad man. Everyone keeps talking about them. Enemies. Talia told me what it means. Rules mean nothing if we don't enforce them. It doesn't matter if he's good or bad. You can't steal. That's a rule. Well, I say he was bad. Bad men killed Father and Roderick. They need someone to hurt them back. Even worse. I want a real sword. No one's afraid of wood. I'll find the men who took Roderick someday, and I'll make sure I have a real sword when I do. Uh, you got about ten years worth of growing before you have a shot at that. But, sure. Sword up, swing left, parry. Wrong. I didn't know Sir dogs Royland. could hold swords. A word. Of course, my lord. I have many decisions to make, and I wanted your advice. What's the state of our defenses? Are these men ready for what's coming? This lot ready? No, but they will be. We post anyone who can hold a spear along the parapet, up where they won't get much scrutiny, and put our meanest, nastiest-looking brutes front and center. 
That'll show Ramsey we're a force in our own right. You've got to project power, especially when you're weakened. Thank you, Sir Roiland. I'll let you get back to training these men. Thank you, my lord. And uh, you should know that swinging that blade yourself took stones. It was a man's way of justice. Sounds like I've got his respect. Yes, my lord. I need to name a sentinel. Ah, you do. And it's good you came to me. I know this house, and everyone here knows me. They know I can hold the reins, or wield the sword in equal measure. I'm the man you need. And might I remind you, it was Duncan Tuttle who sent Garrett to the wall. He undermined your authority, and made you look weak to the White Hills. I would never do that to you. And if you pardon me saying so, I think your father would be proud. Seeing you make good choices as a young lord. Your words are wise, Sir Roiland. Thank you, my lord. I will consider them as I make my choice. So, when will you declare your decision, my lord? Tonight, at the small council meeting. Very good. I trust your judgment, my lord. Talk to this guy. Do it like Maester. Yes, Lord Ethan. I see you've spoken to a number of people. Are you prepared to name your sentinel? What is it you're doing over here? Admiring the ironwood, my lord. I studied it at the Citadel. The wood may be black, but I see gold. An entire forest of gold. What do you mean? It is our greatest asset, my lord. Why not give some of our ironwood to House Bolton and have them leave us be? We could ransom ourselves. You can hardly put a price on your own life, or the lives of those you love. How much do we have to give, Maester? From here to Wolfswood Creek and then across the next two ridges, it should be enough to satisfy Ramsay Snow, I imagine. Bloodlust can often be sated by gifts and gold. I don't know that I agree with you on that one. My lord, are you now ready to name your sentinel? Yes, maester. I'm ready. Very well. I will convene the small council at once. Some people, yes, you can get away with that. But Ramsay... Ramsey is a whole different matter. You may sit. I believe Lord Ethan has reached his decision. Before I name my sentinel, I must tell you. Duncan, Roiland, this house needs you both. But you can only choose one, my lord. Let him be on with it. Maester, shut your mouth until I ask you Many to speak. thought either of you would make a fine sentinel, but I have made my decision. Sir Roiland de Gore, you will be my sentinel. Gods be praised. You've done well, Lord Ethan. You won't regret this. A poor choice, my lord. Forgive me for saying so, but it's true. Now, Sentinel, what do you have to report of Ramsay Snow? My scouts say he's a day's ride away. We've no time to waste. He'll arrive before any of our allies could be here. Who knows what he's capable of? We need to prepare for the worst. We can devise a plan to deal with him. The Boltons need our people to harvest the ironwood. Even the bastard Ramsay must understand that. He's not coming here to negotiate. We must answer with the sword. That's bloody suicide. 
You gamble with the lives of everyone within these walls. Quiet, Tuttle. You're not the Sentinel. I knew this would happen. He cannot be trusted. This is the small council, is it not? Enough! Would my father have stood for this kind of bickering? Neither will I. Y'all are supposed to be the adults. The Bolton sigil is a flayed man. Force is the only thing they understand. Put every man who can hold a spear or crossbow on the wall and make the bastard fill his boots with piss. He Except that he's not the going to. Gesture that it is and have us flayed. We must take a measured approach, my lord. Gentlemen, please. Thank the gods Mira has asked Lady Marjorie for her help. It's not too late for the crown to intervene on our behalf, but we must have a plan if Mira's efforts are not successful. I trust Mira's judgment. I don't doubt she did everything within her power to help us. We all must agree on the plan. We cannot leave until we have a consensus. Ugh. Why not make an offering for peace, my lord? Yeah, the wisdom of the Citadel. We can give the Boltons ironwood in exchange for their protection. You must be mad. It's pure folly to just give away the only currency we have to bargain with. Enough! Fighting's not going to work. Ramsey is too bloodlust filled and he's a freaking sociopath. He loves the idea of a fight. I don't think diplomacy is going to work. I mean, I don't think any of these is going to work, to be completely honest with you. I'm not the most diplomatic person around. Maester Ortengren is swayed. We, we might be able to pull it off of bargaining. Of and we will promise our people to harvest it, thus securing their safety. A sentinel, I must warn you. Do this, and you invite ruin upon this house. If we don't, there may be no house forester at all. If you aren't ready for a fight, you're bound to lose when one breaks out. Ethan has made However, his squaring up against somebody that's that much more powerful than you, not usually a great yes, option. Lord, we are, of course, here to serve you, as we served your father. Aye. Well then, let's decide how we shall set the stage for Ramsay's arrival. We could offer him the ironwood in the courtyard. My lord. Making this kind of offer outright may simply embolden Ramsay. There could be trouble, and all the house will be there to see it. Meet him in the hall. It will be more private, and he will not have an audience to play against you. Lord Ethan? I will meet him in the Great Hall. It's careless. Can't you see Tuttle is steering you wrong? I've faithfully served this house for far too long to sit here and listen to this. Forgive me, my lord, but you are far too young to be the lord of this house. You're likely to get us all killed. Sit down at once. Come on. Ass and seat. There you go. Apologies, my son. But now that it is settled, we know what we must do. You will meet Ramsay Snow in the Great Hall. And we will offer the Ironwood, providing a safe future for this house. No matter what, I will stand beside you, my lord, where your sentinel belongs. Then perhaps we should adjourn. We have to prepare the house. Trying to throw violence at Ramsay Snow is like trying to put out a fire by throwing napalm at it. You have named your sentinel, but you still seem conflicted. And no matter what, you can't be indecisive. Not if you want to help this house. Forgive me. There will always be those who question your leadership. Which is why you need allies you can rely on. Family. 
Mira has done everything she can in King's Landing, but there are others who can help us. What about your brother, Asher? Malcolm told me. You want to bring him back? He's a skilled fighter. But what's more, he has the will to fight. A hunger for it. He always protected you and your sister. And we need all the help we can get. Yes, I hear what you're saying. Do you remember the Miller's boy? How he tormented you? I wanted to intervene, but your father said Ethan must fight his own battles. But when Asher saw it, he didn't take a breath. He grabbed the Miller's boy by the neck. That was his first instinct. Asher knocked out half the poor boy's teeth. Of course, your father was furious, but you were in danger and there was nothing else Asher needed to know. Asher does not hesitate. He acts, and we need that. You have many fine qualities, but you do not have that anger inside you. It's something we could use. I'm not like that, but I don't need to be, do I? No, but you need someone who is standing beside you. I'm trying to do what's best for this family. What there this are a lot of nails needs. around. Having a hammer Ethan, handy wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. Fine. Malcolm will go to Essos and bring Asher back. Thank you, Ethan. I'm glad you will let me do this. Know that you never stand alone. You are a forester. Mira stands with us, and she may be able to help us yet. Wouldn't hold your breath on that one. Alright. That actually worked out fairly well for a good time to pause. I think that the good lady forester is putting way too much faith into Mira and getting the crown to intervene because eh, it's not a great time. Now, if this was later down the road when uh, Marjorie and Tommen were together, perfect timing then because, yes, they could absolutely, like Marjorie could absolutely manipulate Tommen into doing anything she wanted. Joffrey, on the other hand, he and Ramsay Snow would have gotten along pretty well, I think, once they stopped trying to kill each other. I don't see him actually doing anything. I don't, well, I don't know. Marjorie had a little bit of manipulative power over him. But at the same time, hey, protect the family that fought against you. I don't know if she's got enough sway over him to control him that way or not. It'll be an interesting thing to see. Which won't happen until next time, though. So if you want to make sure that you don't miss out on the next episode or any of the other videos I upload, then again, go down below. Use the subscribe button, ring the notification bell. While you're down there, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. That way, the YouTube overlords are nice and happy. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Remember that life does get rough sometimes, so good luck, have fun, stay awesome. I'll catch you in the next one.